So, hello everyone. I'm Thomas Lourcer. I work for Thales at, in Paris, France, and I will be talking uh, to you today about how many languages a C++ expert should speak. So the first question we must ask yourself is why learning other languages than C++? Well, everyone has in his house own opinion about this, but I'll uh, bring you two points. The first uh, of it is, if all you have is a hammer, everything looks like an A. If you only know C++, you can only think in terms of C++, and that's a bad thing in my opinion. And second point, those who cannot remember the past are condemned to repeat it. Indeed, if you want to refactor code from and into C++, you need to know other things. So, the question, should I learn other languages? Of course you do. Uh, that's not the real question. The real question is, how many other languages should you learn? And to answer that, I made a little chart in uh, four point, in which we will uh, iterate and uh, categorize each languages you know. And uh, it will help us to describe how to learn more of it. The, the first level is expert level. So uh, that's why we're here. We are almost uh, all C++ expert, but expertise is very time consuming and it's okay if you're not in an expert in everything. So I'll bring the second level is practical. There are languages you tried in your life and loved and you practice regularly. I have uh, several examples. Myself, I, I practice Python, Bash, C, and other things. Third level is languages you practice in your life, but you don't really like and um, you don't practice every day for, for other reasons. For instance, uh, I practice a lot Java in my scholarship, but I don't really like this. But I could come back to it because I know how to document myself. And the final uh, category is the hello world level when you uh, just do a hello world, put it on your CV, and that's all. That's not really knowing a language. So the useful part, the useful zone, is the third, uh, first three levels which will be useful in your life as a C++ expert. And the question we will ask is how to promote languages from one level to another. So becoming an expert is very time consuming and it's not worth it to um, become an expert in other language for the sake of C++. Uh, you can't force yourself to practice a language you don't like every day just because you want to become better at it. it you, you won't manage if you do something you don't like. However, what, one thing you can do is document yourself about everything. You can choose to be curious and practice a little, even if you don't like, that's not, that's not bad. You, you will know, you will know how, to, how, it, um, how it works. And I think it's the most efficient way to be polyvalent. So as a conclusion, to answer the initial question, how many languages should a C++ expert speak? I mean, as much as their curiosity can bring them. You, uh, uh, in my opinion, curiosity is the most important trait of an expert. And as long as you are curious, you will always go forward, be it in C++ or any other language. So uh, that's what drives me to be here today at the CppCon. And I hope you are all curious about it too. And that will conclude my lightning talk.